In this list, we will examine the murders that are considered to be the most peculiar in the history of the world. Which of the murder cases that you have ever heard about is the most peculiar? Leave a comment below and let us know. Number 10. The Alphabet Murders At the beginning of the 1970s, three young girls from Rochester, New York met their deaths in a manner that was quite odd. The fact that each of their first and last names began with the same letter is not only the fact that they were all assaulted prior to tragically losing their lives. Even more peculiar is the fact that their bodies were found in places that also began with that letter. After being reported missing on November 16, 1971, Carmen Colon was located two days later in the vicinity of Churchville. She was the first victim to be found. After that, Wanda Walkowitz vanished on April 2, 1973, and her body was found in Webster the next morning. Michelle Manza, the final victim, was discovered in Macedon two days after her last known whereabouts, which was on November 26, 1973 to be exact. Despite the fact that there is an extensive list of potential suspects, the case has not yet been solved. Number 9. The I-70 Strangler Along the Interstate 70 freeway, the bodies of 12 males and males of a younger age were discovered between the years 1980 and 1991. Since all 12 victims were killed by strangling, the crimes were linked to a single person, who was referred to as the I-70 Strangler throughout the investigation. When they were last seen, the majority of the victims were leaving with an unidentified male from gay bars in Indianapolis or the surrounding area. The inquiry conducted by the police resulted in the compilation of a list of potential victims, the most renowned of whom was Herb Baumeister. Following a series of homicides that appeared to be unrelated to one another, the remains of 11 men were discovered by the authorities on Baumeister's farm in the year 1996. The fact that Baumeister committed suicide before he could be apprehended has led many people to assume, albeit with a very low degree of certainty, that he was the person who strangled the person on Interstate 70. Number 8. The Murder of John Price Catherine Knight's murder of John Price is still considered to be one of the most heinous killings in the annals of Australian history. After a significant amount of time had passed since her husband had abandoned her, Knight began a romantic involvement with Price and eventually moved in with him. Knight was kicked out of Price's house on the night of February 29, 2000, after Price had reached his limit with her violent conduct. However, Knight returned to Price's residence on the same night. She stabbed him numerous times while he was sleeping, brutally disfigured his body, and then prepared chunks of his body with the intention of feeding them to his children. Knight was taken into custody by the police after they discovered her inside Price's residence upon getting a report from Price's neighbor. It was the first time in Australia that a woman was sentenced to life in jail without the possibility of parole. Number 7. The Death of Candace Newmaker After being taken away from her birth parents owing to negligence, this young girl, who was born Candace Elmore, was acquired by Jean Newmaker through the process of adoption. Because Newmaker had a difficult time adjusting to her new surroundings, Jean decided to seek the assistance of Kennell Watkins, a psychologist who did not hold a license to practice psychology. On April 19, 2000, Candace was subjected to what was referred to as a rebirthing session. She was held down, covered in pillows and blankets, and made to battle her way out of the situation in order to reach her adoptive mother. The young girl was gradually suffocated to death as a result of the force of the weight which completely confined her. Because of this, Watkins was found guilty of the criminal counts against him and received a sentence of 16 years in jail. Jean, on the other hand, agreed to a plea bargain in which she would receive a sentence that was suspended for a period of four years. Number 6. The Jeanette De Palma Case The last time Jeanette De Palma was seen alive was on August 7, 1972 when she informed her parents that she was going to go to the home of a friend instead of going home. It would take almost six weeks for her rotting remains to be discovered in Springfield, New Jersey, which is a small town in the state of New Jersey. The fact that her remains were apparently found in the middle of a collection of items that were considered to be a cult was one of the things that made this case extremely unsettling. Moreover, there were no indications of bruises or fractures detected on her body, which led the investigators to the conclusion that she had died as a result of being strangled. During the weeks that followed, many people started to speculate that De Palma had been the victim of a sacrifice that was performed by Satan. In spite of these assertions, the question of who was responsible for the death of Jeanette De Palma has not been answered. Number 5. The Crimes of Dennis Nilsson Although Dennis Nilsson was born in Scotland in 1945, 
He relocated to London when he was an adult and joined the Metropolitan Police Police. While Nilsson was residing there, he would convince men to come to his flat by luring them in with the promise of food or shelter before he would then take their lives. There are at least 12 deaths that can be attributed to him. While it is thought that the actual number of victims he was responsible for is significantly greater. After he had killed them, Nilsson would keep the remains in his house for several weeks, during which time he would frequently engage in sexually explicit actions with them. Finally, he would either burn them or flush them down the toilet. A plumber discovered human remains in the pipes in 1983 after receiving complaints about a blocked drainage system. This led to the eventual capture of the individual. After being found guilty, he was issued a term of life in prison, where he passed away in 2018. Number 4. The Crimes of Tamara Samsonova It is believed that Tamara Samsonova, who is also known as the Granny Ripper, was responsible for a string of brutal murders that occurred between the years 2000 and 2015. Her spouse, whom she reported missing in the year 2000, and who has never been located whether dead or alive, was the first person she allegedly victimized. Following the disappearance of her husband, Samsonova began renting out a room in her home. It is thought that she was responsible for the deaths of numerous of the people who rented from her. After that, she would dismember their bodies and dispose of them in the environs of her city, which is located in Russia and is called Porto. In 2015, Samsonova was taken into custody after the skeletal remains of Valentina Lulanova, who was 79 years old at the time, were found and identified as belonging to her. She was detained for life in a psychiatric hospital when it was determined that she was not mentally capable of standing trial. Number 3. The Black Dahlia Murder Even today, the Black Dahlia case is considered to be one of the most renowned unsolved homicides in the history of the United States. An aspiring actress named Elizabeth Short, who was 22 years old at the time, was discovered dead in the Limer Park area on January 15, 1947. The body was discovered by a mother who was strolling her little daughter. Not only had Short been brutally slain, but her body had also been extensively mangled after the crime. Short was given the nickname Black Dahlia by the media, and sensationalized pieces were published about her as a result of the case, which swiftly garnered notoriety. In the aftermath, a number of individuals came forward to assert that they were responsible for the incident. However, they were ultimately dismissed owing to a lack of proof. Even after a protracted and exhaustive investigation by the police, which resulted in the identification of more than a hundred potential suspects. The true identity of the person who murdered Short is still unknown. Number 2. The Cleveland Torso Murders In the 1930s, a serial killer who was still at large plagued the city of Cleveland, which is located in the state of Ohio. The perpetrator of the crime was responsible for the murder and dismemberment of at least 12 individuals over the course of four years, and their bodies were dispersed throughout the region. As a result of the fact that the killer appeared to have targeted random individuals and members of underrepresented communities, it was difficult for the authorities to even identify any of the victims. Edward Andresi and Florence Palillo were positively identified as two of the 12 victims who were known to have been killed. A third victim, a woman called Rose Wallace, was presumed to have been identified as the third victim. The unusually gruesome deaths placed law enforcement in a state of bewilderment which led to the most extensive police investigation in the history of Cleveland. No one has ever been charged with the offenses, regardless of the circumstances. Number 1. The Murder of Renée Hardevelt During her time at the Sorbonne University in Paris, Renée Hardevelt was a student from the Netherlands. On June 11, 1981, she went to the apartment of a fellow student, Issei Sagawa, where she was brutally murdered. She was there when she was killed. Since he was a young child, Sagawa, a Japanese student who was studying abroad had developed a yearning to consume other people's flesh. The moment Sagawa entered his home, he proceeded to murder Hartvelt and then started to swallow various portions of her body. Four days later, he was taken into custody, but he was deemed mentally incapable of standing trial and deported to his native country. However, he was subsequently released due to legal loopholes in his home nation. In a short amount of time, he successfully profited on his notoriety and became a celebrity in a sense by authoring books and making public appearances. Right up until the time of his death in November 2022, Sagawa was a free man. Subscribe for more creepy videos.